Hello everybody and welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Make a Game where we're continuing to track my adventures as I try to make a game here anyway and take advent take adventures? No. Take suggestions and help and whatever from you lovely people out there in the world of YouTube. So yes, we've got some exciting new features. Well, exciting as they can be anyway. Uh, new things anyway that we've added to the game. But before all that, da -da 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 -da, exciting news or I don't know if it's exciting, but it's certainly news anyway. Um, I finally decided on a name for the game. So what will it be? Ooh, it's mysterious. I wish I had like a drum to drum roll. But anyway, the game is called Portal Knots. Yes, Portal Knots. Yes, that's the name I've decided to stick on because I think it makes sense. I think it's a good name uh, because in the game you're like, as these characters, you're switching out through these portals the different universes is the kind of story idea behind it and like astronauts who explore space you're portal knots who explore through portals the different worlds so hence portal knots i think it's a good name i think it's like a short little name and i like it i've been kind of been getting used to it for the last few weeks but i didn't want to say anything because what if i said his name and then immediately started hating it that wouldn't be good for anybody but anyway yes that's what i was sticking with there should have been like some kind of fancy graphic up on the screen there. I don't know. Some kind of basic logo for now anyway. But yes, Portal Knots. So I'll probably rename this series. Maybe maybe instead of Let's Make a Game, we'll call it Portal Knots Development. I don't know. Anyway, let's stop talking about the name and let's actually see what I have put in the game in the last little while. So let's do that. Game time. So here we are. As you can probably see here on the left, look, ooh, we've got a big sparkly thing. Ooh, isn't that magical? Um, so yes, uh, last time around, I had in the last video I put up anyway, I had just um, added checkpoints to it, uh, but I wasn't very happy with how they worked because the way they worked was um, when you passed one, if you died, you went back to it and that was grand. Like, But if you went really far ahead and then decided to go really far back, you couldn't reload you you would go back to the furthest checkpoint away rather than the one you last passed so i didn't i wanted to do away with that so then i spent some time like rearranging that which took a while uh, i can't remember if i had this purpley thing on switching the characters last time but anyway it looks cool i like that <laughs> um but yes yeah, some of the checkpoints i think work, work much better uh also before when a character got killed he like exploded into a shower of blood. I wasn't really very happy with that either. Uh, now you do a little kind of little portal thing. Um, whoop. Uh, because it makes more sense that like what's happening is you're, you're getting to a point where you're about to die and say the scientist guy has invented something that like warps you back to the most recent portal so you don't get killed or something like that. Some kind of explanation in the story rather than just like, oh, you die and then magically you're back alive again. Anyway, <laughs> um, so that was another little thing I've added to the game. I kind of tidied up a few bits and pieces that were just not really working very well. Uh, I'm still not very happy with what happens in the water. You just kind of run along. I need to like do the water system properly at some point, but it's not high on my list of priorities. Because it's something that will get done eventually, but doesn't need to get done just yet. Oh, I'm dead. Um, also, I need to do something to solve the fact that you can jump up here and just run along the top of the game. <laughs> That's not very useful. Uh, it might be useful if you want to cheat, but it's not very useful. Uh, I should like make you die or something when you leave the screen. I don't know. But anyway, continuing onwards, showing more things. Uh, what's the button? There we go. Climbing up the wall. Uh, and look who we actually got something at the end of the level now we got a little exit area so if we hit oh look it's somewhere completely new Ooh. i don't like this little error thing that's popping up in the bottom though hmm i don't know what that's about because it doesn't oh that shouldn't happen either um <laughs> yay making games starting out bugs um Yes, I don't like this little thing at the bottom because that doesn't that didn't appear in the editor, but it appears to be happening in the game. That's kind of annoying. Anyway, yes. For now, we just have this kind of little overworld. I just kind of built this to test out um doing uh, switching between levels and stuff like that. Uh, so if we go here, eh, it's another level and another error. Something something is happening when I load a new level. Okay. 
that's good to know. Uh, as you can see, you go there. Uh, the points up in the corner should be resetting when I change level. Let's make sure that's happening because I hadn't actually tested that. <laughs> I, I implemented it and I never actually checked to see if it was working. But yeah, it's resetting to zero, so that's good. Uh, as we go back to the start again, look, there's more of this this horrible red text. Horrible red text is not good text. But yes, mostly I have made a few kind of improvements and I think I'm pretty happy with how things are going. But yes, that's what's going on in the game so far. Uh, still plenty of fun. Woohoo! So there you go, that's everything that's been added. I've I've been enjoying doing it. It's still it's it's so much fun working all this stuff out and trying to trying to understand how I'm doing it. I've been in a couple of like live streams of me working on the game and uh oh yeah, actually speaking of live streams, I don't think I've made a video since I finished my twenty four hour live stream for charity where we hit our goal for the twenty four hours. It was quite cool. There were some awesome people hanging around in the video, that was awesome. Um to all you lovely people out there who were chatting away to me and keeping me going all night, that was good. Um, I didn't record the stream. There was, I was too stupid to know how to transport it from Twitch to YouTube. So it's all lost to the ages. Anyone who didn't get to see it, unfortunately, you miss me dancing like a crazy man. Um, at the end of it, I was very tired and I was very saying very stupid things. And lack of sleep is not good for anybody. But it was fun. It was lots of fun. And I'll probably do it again next year for the Child's Play charity. So mark. The date in your calendar i don't know what date it'll be so it doesn't really matter anyway yes it was fun we had a good time speaking of live streams though i'm probably going to be doing lots more live streams in the future because uh i had so much fun doing it that i want to like just get into doing more live streams it's fun to play games and then i've always enjoyed playing games and talking while i'm doing them but i've also enjoyed the kind of videos that we do more here on games plus james uh so i figured it's kind of a good balance too if you if we have the Twitch live stream where I can play some games and have chats and interactions with people. Um, and then at the same time, we can do like proper like videos here on Games Plus James. For example, we've got some more top fives and top tens coming up in the near future. Some game reviews. I really want to play Lego Batman 3. That game should be fun. But yes, thanks for watching. Some more updates here on the channel, here on making this game. It's going to be fun and adventurous. And hopefully in the near future, I'll actually get to like making multiple levels at some point because everything at the moment is just kind of building all the building all the bricks that everything's going to be based on but yes thanks for watching i'll be back soon with more gaming goodness and in the meantime stay super cool all you people out there in youtube land yes that means you